is my guide to the custom EMC add-on for Equivalent Exchange. Custom EMC allows you to add items for other mods to Equivalent Exchange, giving them an EMC value so you can make them with the Equivalent Exchange items. So I'll just jump right into this under the Equivalent Exchange topic under Excessively Asked Questions. You can download the client version of Custom EMC. Make sure it's client unless you're hosting a server. And you're going to want to bring it up, show in folder probably know how to do this already if you've got equivalent exchange but go app data to your roaming folder and uh, if you're downloading it in a vanilla minecraft folder go to dot minecraft I'm downloading it for tech it so I'm gonna go to the technic launcher tech it mods I'm just gonna grab this drag it in I'm just moving it because I don't really need it in the downloads file and now once you've got that set up you're going to want to go back to wherever your Technic launcher is, bring it up and start up Technic or Tech it. Of course, if you're doing vanilla Minecraft, you'll just start up a vanilla Minecraft game. Um, I'm just going to pause the recording because this is going to take forever. Okay, so once you've got Technic Tech it started up, you're going to want to go into single player. And I've got a world already set up for this. Make sure you go onto a world. Otherwise, it won't create the config file for a uh, custom EMC. So once you get onto your world, here we go. Once you're on the world, you can just save and quit to title. Although you'll probably want to stay on the world because you'll need it for some of the later things. So I'll just bring that up again. Now I'm going to go back to my Tekkit folder go into config and under config if you installed it correctly you'll see a custom EMC notepad file click on it and this will be here probably nothing else this is the command I'm going to be dealing with specifically here it's the one I'm going to be explaining I'll explain the other ones in another video but first off just type add EMC this is all you need space and then well you're you're probably going to want not enough items because it does have the little thing that says EMC and the item ID I'll just scroll through and find an item that doesn't have an ID uh, something simple to make oh my god there's a lot of sub blocks okay uh, let's say an alloy furnace so you go oops, utility mode bring up the recipe then I can add up the cost of all these items, I just pull up a calculator real quick. I should probably be able to do this off the top of my head, but whatever. So an alloy furnace has an EMC of 512, because the bricks have an EMC of 64, and there's eight of them. But the alloy furnace itself doesn't have this. So now what you're going to want to do, just move that off to the side. You're going to want to go into custom EMC, put in add EMC, add EMC for item 137, comma, and then you're going to put in your EMC value, which is in this case 512. And that's all you have to do. Hit save. And then I'll just close this down and restart it. One sec. Alright, now we're back in our creative world, and if we search for the alloy furnace again, we'll see it has an EMC of 512. Now there is one other thing I should mention. You'll see here sometimes items say, for example, in this case, 1258:1. Now you have to include that entire part in its EMC value. So I'll just move this off to the side again, bring up custom EMC again, and I'll go add EMC. So this is item 1258:1, comma, and that'll determine its EMC value. That would be 512 and 512, so it would be 1024. Now it should work. Now, one thing you have to be careful of, don't write it like this. Otherwise, it'll read its EMC value as just 1. Make sure you write the entire number out. Otherwise, it'll cut it off in the middle. So once you save that, close down. Next time you load up, the blue alloy ingot will have an EMC value. Alright, to finish this video, I'll just show you that it worked for posterity's sake. Uh, EMC 1024 on the blue alloy ingot, 
512 on the alloy furnace. Oh yeah, by the way, the blue electric, if you add an EMC value for one item, and another item has the same first part, and then a colon with the number after it, and you don't add an EMC value for the second item, they'll both just be given the same EMC value. So in this case, I gave an EMC of 512 to the alloy furnace, and the blue electric alloy furnace was also given that value. So just be wary about that, because that can result to mistakes in your uh, counting up. But other than that, I'll conclude this video with that, and thank you for watching.